response to Meghna Desai beginning the debate by saying this is blackmail, ignore it, don't give in to the blackmail. I think what is more important is to see how to, uh, how to balance growth in this country. Let's be very clear that agriculture is being systematically killed over the last few decades. And they are doing it deliberately because, they, because as I said earlier, the World Bank and the big business wants to give a message that this is the only way to grow economically in a country, in any country for that matter. I think what is being tried in America is not a solution for India also. India is a different country, we have a different conditions, and we can make agriculture more profitable. Now let me, uh, let me tell you, uh, you will be surprised that 60% population lives in the villages or in the rural areas or in agriculture and only 2%, less than 2% of the annual budget goes to agriculture. You'll be surprised Manrega has a higher budget than agriculture. Now this has been happening over the years. Now when you are not investing in agriculture, you think it is economically backwards, not performing. You are not wanting it to perform. You are ensuring that the prices that you know they get today under the MSP is also withdrawn. Minimum support price they want to withdraw, leave it to the vagaries or the tyranny of the markets. Now that is what they are deliberately doing it. My, uh, my question here, Arunab, is that you, 25 crore people in this country are agriculture landless workers. If we give them land, these people are also, you know, startups. These people are also entrepreneurs. A farmer is also an entrepreneur. He will also develop, he will also show results if you give him the right kind of conditions. But you are giving the conditions only to the industry and you think agriculture is something we should neglect and we should forget. In fact, agriculture has disappeared from the economic radar screen of the country. Now, that's a very sad situation. 60% population Absolutely. or 70% population population is completely ignored, Ar Arnab, and you will see this being talked about every other day. When we talk of budget also, we say it's going to be populism or reforms. What is reforms? You give them the concession. If you don't give anything to the industry, they call it policy paralysis. But you give them all kinds of doles, then they think it is growth, then this dream budget. Now, let me tell you one thing, that in the last 10 years, we had 36 lakh crore going to the corporates by way of tax exemptions. Where are the jobs? They just created 1.5 crore jobs in the last 10 years, and then where are the exports? where the industrial sector, the only sector which has performed very well in this country is agriculture. Year after year, we are having a uh, harvest which is, which is bumper. Now, why can't we strengthen that sector to okay. ensure that the population shift takes okay. place to the villages? Okay. Let's make them viable. Why do you want to move the population just because the Western economies told us we should follow that? Why? Why can't India have its own original thinking is my question. Why do we have to go by the same kind of Harvard or Oxford or Cambridge economies to come and tell us this is the right way? I think I'm completely flawed by this kind of we have, the we have, 